Hello, welcome back to another 1001 Beers. You must try before you die. Uh, Mike and Rachel are here with me, and uh, we've uh, hopefully got a nicer Australian beer this time. <laughs> the last one, uh, Mike was at pains to point out, was slightly out of date. Uh, look at his face, he's so surprised. This one is only two weeks out of date, but you know what? They're not out of date, they're best before. Yes. That's very important, actually. And actually, if it's a good beer, it shouldn't just go off that quickly. Yeah. So, so this one is... Uh, where we are we're in Australia again it's first brewed 2001 3.8% and it is Roger's Beer by Little Creatures uh, you may have heard of Little Creatures they're, they're, their pale ale can be found in Waitrose in this country but you don't often find any other of their beers so this is their Roger's Beer so this is Amber uh, Lower Alcohol Beer so if you'd like to read the tasting notes mm -hmm. sure let's crack this open and see what it's like uh, best served cold this beer presents itself with a light amber body and pillowy head a combination of floral and caramel aromas follow through with a nutty, fruity body and a firm, bitter finish. An extremely sessionable beer that is perfect for a weeknight's ale or two. Hmm. There we go. Looks like they've read your mind. I fully intend to ale or two. <laughs> but I think this is beer number four. Yes. Technically of today. So ale or so, two. Ale or two. Okay, so here we have it. I mean, let's look at the... I quite like the, the bottle. It's quite pretty. Mm -hmm. Um, I like the baby. The baby is obviously the, the logo of Little Creatures. Uh, I don't know who Roger is or why he has any <laughs> beer, and maybe the book reveals more. It does indeed. Okay, you'd like to tell us why Roger has a beer. So it says that Roger's is one of the smartest beers available, and then we move on by about a paragraph. Um, uh, they decided to name it after the people who made it, so Roger Bustle. Knew a lot about malt and was reportedly as good as you could get when it came to ale brewing. And Roger Bailey was an experienced brewing engineer. Mm. Uh, and then a guy called Phil Sexton also helped, but he doesn't get a look in on the name. So. No. Okay. But that's why it's Roger's apostrophe, yeah. not Roger apostrophe. There we S. go. Right. It says here, roast. Which I was wondering. It does say mm. on the bottle <laughs> no here. Is allowed. Roasted caramel malt flavours balanced with the light citrus hot notes and the fine bitterness to find this easy drinking but full flavoured amp beer. So that's just a nice standard bottle. Uh, oh, I've just seen the, yeah, the embossed, the embossed, the embossed the baby cherub. as well. Oh, lovely. The cherub, yeah, it's more like a cherub than a baby, sorry. <laughs> right. It's a baby with wings. So yeah. it is a very, very dark amber colour. It's mm. almost like barley wine colour. Mm. Mm. How does it smell? Copper, sort of. Not a huge amount. No, a those. little bit of malt. I'm going in. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Okay. Bit thin. It's all right. For, for how it looks and how I was expecting it to taste. Um, but still, yeah, yeah enjoyable. It's 3.8. 3.8, yeah. yeah. It's not off. Mm. Definitely not off. Yeah, it's That's good. That's nice. Yeah. It's quite easy going. Yeah. I think, um, get, uh, yes, we've just been having a brew day and I had just had a big sip of the wort. Yes. Uh, which is very sweet, very sugary. Mm. And so what I should have done is had anything else before this. Yeah, the glass of water. Yeah, because it's actually second sip onwards. This is lovely. Mm. Yeah, it's just kind of easy going. Yeah. I wouldn't say it had, a, it had bags of flavour, but I don't think it's supposed to. No, it's easy going. Nice. There, there is flavour there. Yeah, it's, it's and... billing itself as a sessionable beer. Perfect for an ale or two. And that's yeah. what it is. You could drink a couple of those. You could probably drink I think you could quaff, four or five. I reckon you could quaff down a few pints of that quite yeah. easily. And at 3.8%, you wouldn't suffer too badly. No. That's nice. No. Yeah. It's all right. I wouldn't say it's that exciting, but I'll be honest with you. I think I like it better than the Chancer. Yeah. But probably not as much as the Hot Rocker. Yeah, that. The Hot Rocker was a nice so far. Yeah. Uh, but we're going into quite crazy territory with, the, with our last beer. Mm. So uh, this one is the calm before the storm. Mm. Uh, not well, not quite sure. The mayor, may I have a look at the book? Mm -hmm. Is there anything interesting else about it? I am tasting different things as I go as well. So it, it was initially sort of caramel and not much else, but I am getting more hop stuff. I'm getting a drier finish. Yeah, I know, think the hops and the bitterness comes through once mm. you start drinking it for a little while. Also, I'm going to point out that the on the label, there are um, emus, ostriches, I'm not really sure which one, but their bodies are hop Show cones. Camera. Oh, I don't yeah. know if it'll show up on camera because it's kind of small. You just about see that, yeah. Which I think is ace. So, so this, beer, <laughs> this beer uses five specialty malts. Mm, uh, so this is amber colour, caramel notes and smooth mouthfeel. In contrast to the pale ale they make, it has only been lightly hopped. So it's making it less bitter and more sessionable. 
So that's why it's got almost no hop taste for it mm. at all, because that's how it's meant to be. Um, but it's, works it's not unbalanced, though, that's the thing. There, there's enough hops in there to give it a bit mm. of something else, but without oh, dominating yeah, the sure. flavour. So. No, it doesn't taste like you're drinking like, a biscuit or anything. No, <laughs> no it's not. Yeah, it's <laughs> not. always a concern. Liquid biscuit. I don't know, I quite like liquid biscuit. <laughs> I quite like, I, quite, I like really like multi toffee flavours in mm. a beer, but this one, it's all right. I'd say. Decent enough. I prefer their pale ale, but that's kind of more my taste. Um, mm. So if you haven't had the pale ale, go and have it. Uh, I reviewed that very early on in the book because that was really easy to get hold of. This one, <laughs> this one I had to get imported. So um, yeah, cheers, little okay. princess. Yeah. It's nice enough that knowing that you can get the pale ale from Waitrose, which is just down the road, I probably would suggest that we go and get some okay. when we're next to Waitrose. Yeah, yeah. So it's which nice, I think it's, is a nice. It's a nice beer. It's, yeah, a, nice it's a nice easy nice going beer. Stuff. Right, well, I think we'll leave that one there. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you for another beer review very, very soon. Goodbye.